Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, I'm gonna give you my top 10 Bulgari fragrances for 2023. The last one that I did, I believe was a top five back in 2021. So why not do a, a, a new updated video? With my list, they're not in any numerical order, but the last five will be. First one or number 10, you know, this might be like number seven, number eight. It's hard to kind of make them in order, you know, it, it really is, especially when you do like the brand and you have so many other fragrances. But the first one is going to be Bulgari Pur Om, launched in 1996. I'm also going to try and do the dates as well. If I forget the dates, I'm going to attach it with the name. But 1996 release. I'm not sure if this one is discontinued. I do know that the Pur Om, Swar, but also the Extreme one, they, they are. This is still available at the Hudson's Bay Company. I'm not sure if they still sell it at, the H or, sorry, at Macy's, but you can still get them online. That's why I'm, I'm a little uncertain if this is still, like, if this is discontinued or not. But this is a great scent, you know, very, very gently. It's green, it's woody, so if you like tea-based fragrances, this is one that you might like. So tea, there's some nutmeg, a little bit of citrus, some musk, lavender, iris, coriander, woods, and so on. Like, like with the 90s fragrances, I find that there's a lot going on in a lot of them. What I personally get is, yes, I get the musk. It's very musky. There is a little bit of aldehydes that add a little bit of an aromatic touch. Tea, tea in woods. So tea, woods, and citruses, I find are gonna be like the main players in that order with a little bit of that coriander or nutmeg and absolutely the musk. Musk, but also aldehydes. Musk, aldehydes are battling with citruses for that third place, right? Very gently, mature. So if you like, again, tea-based fragrances with a lot of woods and musk, this is one that you might like. Suntai, like this, you know, casually, it's perfect for the springtime. I find that this is more spring and early autumn, daytime, nighttime. This might be a little bit too heavy for the summertime. Unless it's a summer night out where it's a little bit cooler, then yes. And this is a great dinner scent. So if you're, if you're going to wear it in the summertime on a date, this is a great option all right longevity is going to be about six to eight hours next one was launched in 2013 and that's going to be bulgari man extreme this has a very different sort of note and it's not an official bottle but a travel spray i'm cool with these because i have so many fragrances in my collection that i'm just it's hard to finish even just one bottle so but as i was saying this does have a very unusual note of cactus juice strange there is a little bit of a green touch to this one. There is going to be benzoin, vetiver, citruses. There's freesia that does add a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit of a floral touch, along with cardamom to warm it up a little bit. So what it pretty much is, it's just like an aromatic citrus scent with woods, a little bit of green cactus juice, and a little spice. It's masculine. I don't want to say it's mature, but I'm thinking that someone in like mid 20s can easily pull this one off. Early 20s, like someone who is like just like a, a newbie to college, yeah, maybe. But it, it does come across as a little bit more mature. You know, why am I wearing it? Because I'm, I'm not the most mature guy. I'm, I'm a little bit goofy and silly, I get that. But you know, when I wear this, I, I do feel a little bit more grown up. It's not overly polished, but you know, like, this will go great with a suit and tie. Tuxedo, not so much, but definitely suit and tie. And if you want to dress it down, make sure it's a little bit more, like a little bit more business casual as well for this one here. Longevity is about six hours. This is perfect for the spring and summertime. Next one was launched in 2017, and I believe it's been discontinued. The entire lineup has been discontinued, but you can still get a fragrance or maybe two here and there. But next one is going to be Bulgari Put Um Aqua Atlantique. Okay, so this is a great blue scent. It does have lavender, it's got C notes, but this is a little different because it also has a lot of like, there, there is that salty nuance. And I really do like it. So like a salty blue aquatic with citruses, lavender, there's gonna be patchouli, some sandwood, and there's gonna be like a, an animalistic like amber beer. Really nice. You know, I just, unfortunately, again, unfortunately, you know, the, the lineup has been dis discontinued. I don't know why. I think they're focusing more on the, the man line because th that's what they've been putting out as of late, like Rain Essence, Wooden Rolly, like from man. But a lot of 
the offerings from this lineup was actually quite solid. This is more of a spring summer scent, and for me, it's more casual. It's, it's good for school, it's decent for work, and it's more of a daytime scent. Longevity is going to be about six hours. Next one is going to be Bulgarian Man Wood Neroli. So if you like woody neroli fragrances, this is one that you might like. I like these little bottles because, you know, again, I'm never going to finish a lot of these bigger bottles. I just did a video of Hugo Boss. I'm, I'm never going to finish a bottle like this. I'm always in review mode. I, I just am. But neroli, creamy, soapy neroli. There's citruses, there's musk, there's woods, and there's also orange blossom. I don't want to say it's overly, like, I don't want to say that there's a, like a ton of orange blossom, but there is a little bit of a white floral touch to it. This is more of a daytime gentleman sort of fragrance. It's great for office, you know, thinking because of the white florals, I think that it just might resonate a little bit more with someone who is a little bit older, or if you're a younger person, one who likes the gently type of fragrances. You know, it's not a bad boy type of scent. It's not a basic type of fragrance. Even though that it might smell a little bit basic because of like the woods and the neroli, just that added orange blossom adds something a little bit different. And that's gonna be like the gently component to it, all right? Perfect for the spring and summertime, daytime. You could wear it nighttime if you want to. Suit and tie, something that's also like, if you wanna wear it dressed more casually, make sure it's like business casual or like a nice like, Hell, even like a nice golf shirt with a nice pair of shorts and like a nice pair of loafers. Not like like Air Jordans or Nikes. I myself would go with something a little bit more like polished when it comes to your wardrobe for something like this. And this is gonna be about six to seven hours. Now if I haven't said it, this was launched in 2019. Next one was launched in 2018 and that's gonna be Bulgarian Man Wood Essence. So this is very dense with cypress, cedar, it has uh, lemon zest as well, coriander, and also benzoin. This is a, a woody fragrance for the most part. It's pretty much just woods with a little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of spices, and like a resinous touch with that benzoin. Great for the springtime. I think it's great for the autumn time as well. This is a great office fragrance. I'm saying great a lot as of later, I know. But it's just a great office fragrance. It's a great mature fragrance. Very much like this one here. This just might resonate more so with someone who's older. It's a suit and tie fragrance. And if you're gonna dress it down in the autumn time, it'll go very well with something like this. And if you're gonna dress it down in the springtime, like a, a really nice, just to, for a change of words, a really nice golf shirt or like a nice polo. Longevity, about seven to eight hours. Now we're getting into the top five. That is in numerical order. Next one, number five was launched 2016 and that's gonna be Bulgarian Man Black Cologne. This is a great spring, like early spring, but also more so autumn fragrance, very gently. It's got rum, it's got orange blossom, sandwood, amber, but also tuberose. So you would not think a woody, boozy scent with white florals. I, I, I never would have thought a combination of notes of, that, of, the, of like that. But very, very gently. Very gently. I, I wish I had a bigger bottle of this one because it, it's super good. The amber does add a little bit extra, but just booze, woods, like a resinous amber and white florals. It's a work of art. It's a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Spring, more autumn than anything daytime nighttime this out of I, I would say out of the entire lineup that you have seen and you, you will see in this video this is the epitome of what a gentleman smells like when it comes to Bulgaria Bulgaria for the most part the majority of their fragrances have some sort of class a little bit of sophistication if I were to do a top three sophisticated classy Bulgaria fragrances this would be number one. Tuxedo, suit and tie, sense of style, and you have to have your manners on par. Manners maketh men, the Kingsman. Longevity, seven to eight hours. Fragrance number four, this one is not classy by any means. It's more of a casual, feel good, launched in 2008, and this lineup discontinued, but you could still get it for a good price tag. Aquamarine, you could still get it online, fairly reasonable. This one and the original, 
yeah, are, are still available. This, so good. Fresh, aquatic, green, it's salty. You are gonna get the sea notes, the aquatics, the seaweed. You don't like sea salty, like a sea salty green. This is one that you're, you may not like. There's neroli, petit grain, I believe lemon or grapefruit, but also some sort of woods. This is a feel good scent in the summertime. The best fragrance summer wise when it comes to the brand. I, I have another like five fragrances from this brand. Some are actual travel sprays and not like official travel sprays like this, but like one of the best from the brand. Think of this. This is pretty much like when you're sitting on a beach and this does remind you of, of both Miami and San Diego. When you're sitting on a beach and you have seaweed that's washed up on the shore and it's just drying. That, that is what this reminds me of. Both Miami or Miami and San Diego. Two great trips, scent memories. Longevity, five hours. Number three, Bulgarian Man Glacial. This, this stuff is really good. So it's got clear wood. Don't know what it, what that is, but there is a woody nuance to it. There is iris. The iris does add that powdery nuance. There's geranium, artemisia, ginger, but also juniper berries. Artemisia, woods, ginger, geranium, and juniper berries. You're gonna get all of that. This is a great work scent. It's a great like classy night out fragrance. This will go very well with a suit and tie, but also a tuxedo. You gotta dress up for this one here. If, if it's casual, sense of style. Make sure you have that sense of style. Not white t-shirt and jeans. I just think of more when it comes to this fragrance here. But if you wanna wear it, by all means. Spring, fall, summer night out, summer daytime, I think it's gonna be a little bit too heavy. But definitely springtime. Daytime, nighttime, longevity, six to seven hours. Almost forgot to say, there is a powdery touch because of the orris. There is a green herbal touch from the Artemisia, but also that, that geranium. The geranium is not herbal, but it does add a little bit of an old school vibe as well. So if you like old school, but modern scents, this is something that you might like. We're down to the last two. This one here is perfect for the fall and winter time, launched in 2014. Bulgarian Man Black. This stuff is great. It's got amber or like some sort of benzoin or labdomum. There's woods, there's leather, there's tobacco, spices, booze, so rum and iris. What I personally get, now, spice is not listed on Parfumo. It is on fragrance, uh, on Fragranska. I do get spices. I do get leather, tobacco, I get some sort of woods, but also I get the booziness. This is masculine. This is a rough and tough sort of masculine. Brock Lesnar type of masculine. But at the same time, Kingsman suit and tie type of masculine. Bad boy and gentleman. This, James Bond. James Bond would probably wear like the English stuff. You know, like uh, what is it? The Florentine, whatever. This, if he had to choose a cold winter designer, I would say that he would go this one here. But bad boy, masculine, but deep, dark, mysterious, gently, mature, classy, elegance. Longevity, eight to nine hours. And number one was launched this year in 2023. Man Rain Essence. The, the entire lineup is Essence. I got more, but it's kind of strange because the original Man, which I have a bottle here, is not Essence, it's just Bulgari Man. So I, they're, I don't know if they're trying to do something different with the line. This would have made the cut, but I just have not worn this one in quite some time, so I don't really remember much of it. This one, I do. I just unboxed this one before I started filming the video, but one of the best releases of this year, without question. Oh, God. So there's musk, there's citruses, I think it's bitter orange or bitter citrus, tea, guyacwood, amber, and white lotus. I have to look at my notes, but what I get, musk, woods, get some sort of citrus, but I also get that white lotus. What this kind of smells like, 
And back in the day when people were comparing a certain, oh lord, name is right here, a certain fragrance that smells like a, a, a wet sidewalk, I'm like, why would you want to smell like that? But as I get older and I mature a little bit, that's what this is. It's like a, a little bit like a wet sidewalk when, when it's starting to dry, but it's still wet outside. This is a gentleman's fragrance. There's nothing bad boy about this. It is a musky, slightly powdery floral citrus scent with some woods. It's tremendous. Once again, I'm just gonna repeat myself, one of the best releases of this year. I got gift cards from the Bay that I could have used it. I ended up using my hard earned money to buy this. For me, it's worth every single penny and I don't believe in buying retail, but I get, you know, one more spray. Oh my God. This is gonna have to be my scent of the day. After I film this, I'm gonna have to shower and everything because you know, it's been a long day and I had to run a few errands, but this is gonna be my scent of the day for today. Longevity, from what I remember from the, the decan itself, because it was a decan review, was like six to seven hours. And guys, that's it. That is my top 10 Bulgarian fragrances for 2023. If you wanna see the previous one that I did back in 2021, check out right here. And why don't you check out right here for another top five or top 10 brand, okay? And if you like this very video, please leave me one of these. Any reviews that I've done on these fragrances, including others from this brand, they will all be down in the description box below as well. So guys, I thank you for your time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.